Now at noon, we start with breaking news. The Carolina Panthers parting ways with head coach Matt Rule. It comes after a rough start to the season. The Panthers one in four so far. WCNC Shroud Sports Director Nick Carboni joins us right now. Nick, not a major surprise today. Yeah, not at all, especially if you watched yesterday's game against the San Francisco 49ers or you were one of the few Panthers fans that uh, still decided to come watch this football team. There weren't a lot of Panthers fans in the stadium yesterday. There was a lot of San Francisco red. I think that's something David Tepper, the owner, saw, and it was probably the final straw. 22-point loss in your home stadium uh, where the only Panthers fans that were there either left early, booed, chanted to their displeasure with Coach Matt Rule, or, or, or all of the above. Uh, 11 and 27 in two-plus years, a very successful college head coach is Matt Rule, but it just did not translate to the NFL. It wasn't working, and clearly owner David Tepper finally decided it was not going to work, even though there are 12 games left this year. What I thought was interesting, Nick, in your interview last night with the players in the locker room, I mean, Coach Matt Rule had their support. They love him. Uh, they said, you know, we win games, we lose games. But is this the change that the team needed? And talk about the interim coach now. Yeah, and a lot of people came out and said, well, they have to say that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, as Eugene will tell you, no, they don't. Not, uh, you know, not with that much passion for Matt Rule, the man. But as a football coach in the NFL, it, it is completely results oriented. 11 and 27 is probably among the worst records of anybody who's coached 38 games in NFL history. Uh, yeah, certainly the players and lack of execution has something to do with it. But, you know, for a, a coach that was hired to turn a program around, kind of like he did in two places in college, to be here two and a quarter, two and a third years in, and to have things going in the wrong direction, uh, obviously, you know, things were, were just not going to work out. So I think a new voice, uh, Steve Wilkes for now, and maybe somebody else next year, and a new approach to the quarterback position, because that's a big part of this. The defense mm -hmm. has been built to be good. Special teams is really good this year. It is the offense. It is the quarterback position. Since Cam Newton, they've gone through Teddy Bridgewater, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield. So a new voice and a new process and probably a new approach to the quarterback position. Right now they're trending at a good draft pick, good draft position, and there are good quarterbacks to be drafted next year. So I think that's the direction we'll see them go at that position finally. Lots of change. All right, Nick Carboni, uh, of course, you can expect reports yeah. from him all afternoon and all evening right here on WCNC Charlotte. In the meantime, let's turn it over to former Panther Eugene Robinson. Uh, Eugene, I think we should manage expectations for folks right here. This is not going to be a, a, a <laughs> yeah. new team next week. No, it won't be a new team next week. They'll have a, a renewed enthusiasm, but you are what you are. And what would the problems we have when we have it on offense? Our offense is really on a third down percentage. It's been like 20%, 25%, 30%. That doesn't get it done. You're supposed to be up in the 40s, up in the 45s. That means that you're really moving the ball, getting in the scoring position to go ahead and, and amount a, uh, a charge. That hasn't happened on offense, and so that needs needed to change. And it's not going to change because of you still the offense coordinator is McAdoo. He's the offensive coordinator, and he has to figure out how does he get Baker Mayfield off the snide. How do I get that young man to play? Because he's a lot better than what he is, yeah. but he's not showing it right now. And because he's not showing it, I think he's one of the cats. Coach Rule is one of the casualties because Bridgewater and Sam yeah. Darnold, now Baker Mayfield. You've gone through three quarterbacks. Don't forget Cam Newton. Cam, was in that I was going to say Cam was back for they, a hot second. You've gone through a number of quarterbacks in the span of two years. Yeah. And so that's really kind of unheard of that you do that. A lot of people were talking about the game. How was this at Bank of America Stadium or not? Because there were so many fans yeah. from the other team. Uh, what does this team need to turn it around? See, it, it always, always comes to them, um, come to Jesus meetings in the <laughs> locker room. That every, you know, guys end up talking, but it really is about players making plays. And, uh, and that's what I love about um, McCaffrey's comments. He was like, look, this is about us. You, we got to make the play. I mean, I got to block you. I got to go ahead and get the ball from you. You got to score a touchdown on me. It comes down to the individual efforts of each person. Person, being prepared and being ready. I think a lot of that preparation has kind of fallen by the wayside, mm -hmm. evidenced by some of the plays I've seen out there. And because of that, 
That's when it falls on Coach uh, Rule. And so I, I get it. I understand it. It's a tough business that we're all in. I totally get yeah. it, totally understand it. But that's that's how it that's how the cookie crumbles. Finally, this the situation you have just described now all falls on the shoulders of a, of a West Charlotte grad. Yes. App State grad uh, who, who's no stranger to this team's well-known, well-respected. You know, in 2012, when he came in, he was a 2012-2017. That defense that he was able to go ahead and run, help run on the coach of Rivera, was one of the best defenses in the league. We are really a good defense. We just got to get things offensively, and he's really well-respected. Coach Wilkes is a well-respected man in that locker room. They absolutely love him, and he had a fair, he had a chance at with Arizona. It didn't mount out because they didn't give him enough time. Because yeah. I thought he would definitely have turned that program around. So he's getting, he's the next guy, and he's hoping to probably keep that spot and be the next guy for the next couple of years. Well, yeah. stay tuned. We'll see what happens, Eugene. We yeah. always love having your you. perspective here as a former player. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And, of course, we'll have much more throughout the newscast, throughout the day. For the latest updates, you can visit our website, WCNC.com.